Hey peeps, Mr. Otis here again for another video of housing. And today I'm going to show you how to create a simple workbench that can help you to save quite a lot of space at home. And I've called it Transform It. In fact, I will first show you how to create the main furniture. And after that, save all upgrades. And believe me, you will find them very handy. Especially if you don't have a lot of space at home. At the beginning, it's gonna be just a simple workbench. Something that you can easily clap and store into a small workshop. But after that, we'll be changing everything into different furnitures that you can move around, you can use in the kitchen, in the bedroom, in different places. As you can see just right here. All right, enough talking, let's make it happen. I will be using here four pieces of lumber of 2.10 meter long, a large piece of plywood, then some hooks, wheels, screws, small hinges, large hinges, and a meter saw. I will start by taking the appropriate measurement on each piece of lumber. Then use my meter saw to cut each piece. And remember that first you will need to cut 8 pieces of the same size. Then now, time to create the first frame going on each side of the workbench. And to fix them together, I will be using here my angle clamps. Those clamps are very handy when you're looking to have some good 90 degree angles. And before inserting the screws, I've decided to put in some holes in order to avoid breaking the wood. Then now, time for screwing. Keep in mind that here, I will be using some long screws from 10 cm long. Then now that everything is clamped together and well screwed, time to remove the clamps. Nice, and here we are with the first two frames. Then now, I'm gonna start taking the measurements to create the side support braces going on each side of the frames. And as usual, I will be also using my meter saw to make the cut. Now, they are all ready and cleaned to be inserted. I will first advise you to insert the top one, then the bottom one, and screw them to the frame. And here we are again with the consolidated frames. Then now, time to attach the wheels. I first decided to use my electric screwdriver, but after some times, I took the hand screwdriver, which was much more easier. And remember, when adding the wheels, avoid adding them on top of each other which will make everything easier for you. Then now, time to test the wheels and they are working exactly as I was expecting. Then now, we're gonna move to the front part 
we're going to take the measurements in order to create the extension arms. Those arms will be the one placed in the middle and which will allow the table slash workbench to be extendable. And also note that you will only need one large piece of plywood to create all of them. Now I'm just tracing the lines in order to create the first three and then this time I will be using my plunge saw to make the cuts. Then, when you have the first pieces cut, you use them in order to trace the line for the second ones. Now that we have all the pieces, time to take a look at them and make sure they are all the same measurements. Then, we will be placing each middle arms slash boards in order to screw the hinges. Now that they are all fixed, I'm taking a look to see if they are folding well. Then I will advise you to also test them into the frames. And it looks like they are already fitting pretty well. And now that we've been testing the arms, it's time to complete the frames. And as you can see, I'm using here some templates that I've been cutting in order to insert the middle piece of lumber and to find the right placement. And I will also advise you to use the, exactly the same template for the other board. And now, it's time to screw them in place. As you can see here, I was quickly done with both sides. And those are the templates I was telling you about. Now that I've used them, I'm gonna remove those three hooks, then use the remaining slot to insert on each side of the frames. Those slots will be the one I will be using to attach the arms into each frame using the inches. Then now, I'm trying the slots on each side of each frame to see if they fit well. Then, when this is done, it's time to attach them on each arm. Please note that before screwing, you will need to make sure that each inches are facing down. Before attaching them, I've decided to pre-drill some holes as I'm very close to each side please note that this will avoid breaking the wood Now that the middle side is done time to move to the top side And as you can see, they are all working quite well. Then now, time to move to the final phase. Fixing them on each frame. Then I'm testing the system to make sure everything is closing well and it is <laughs> the 
Then now, I will be fixing the middle piece of the design. And to keep them closed, I will be using here some hooks that I will put on each side of the frames. Right, here I'm gonna give you a quick preview of what you can do with it and the rest will come pretty soon. And here we are, as I told you at the beginning of this video. Soon, I will be back to you with some upgrades that will make this design even more attractive for you. And I really mean it. Of course, not more attractive than me, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Alright, as usual, I'm always happy to read your comment below in this video. And let me know what you think, any ideas you want to share with me. I'm always happy to try out your own ideas. So feel free to share them with me, any comments, any advices, I'm always open. Mr. TC as usual for another idea of housing, thanks for watching. And if you are new to the channel, consider subscribing just right here. And click on the bell just below here in order to get the notification every time we are uploading new content for you. See you next time!